No, not ready. Okay. That's. There you go. And he was like, oh my God. Okay. <laughs> Um, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. So what I want to do is I want to show you how to graph this equation, all right? Before we even get into graphing inequalities, we need to remember how do we even graph when we have vertical and horizontal lines. So in graphing horizontal and vertical lines, the best way I can help you describe it is let's pretend they're equation. Oh, you said they're, they're both greater than or equal to? OK. So graphing. Um, using vertical and horizontal lines. Now, so far, these are not in slope-intercept form. Well, at least one of them is. Um, or are they in like a standard form where you have an x and a y and so forth? All we have is the value of x equals 3. So to graph that, you need to look at like a table of values. And remember, we can set a table of values because we have a y-coordinate and an x-coordinate, right? And remember, when we graph, every point has an x and a y-coordinate to it. So if I was going to set up a table of values for this, the only value of x is ever going to be is what? 3. Three. But my y values can be, really, there's no constraint on my y values. So I could do like negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2. There's no constraint on what my y values are or can be. So therefore, for this vertical line, x always equals 3. So it doesn't matter what the y value is, x always equals 3. Now I'm going to get to what we're going to do for inequality. Same thing, if I do my x and y coordinate or x and y table for y equals 3. Let's pretend x is negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. What is y always going to be? 3. There's no change in it. It's always going to be 3. So it doesn't matter what the x coordinate is. It's always going to give me a value of y as 3. So to do that, 1, 2, 3. So it always equals 3. Now. Ladies and gentlemen, these are just, I'm just plotting points. Negative three. Yeah. Oh, it was negative 3. I wrote it wrong. These are both negative 3s. Mm -hmm. oh. <sighs> well, right so to go and quickly change our answer, you guys can see that x is always going to equal negative 3 instead of 3, right? And y will always equal negative 3 instead of 3, right? Now, however, ladies and gentlemen, our graph, though, is not an equation, is it? It's an inequality. Meaning that we're going to have our, um, our lines are actually, um, actually our boundary lines. So what that means is our graph can be true or false at the boundary line. And it can also be true or false above or below or to the left or to the right of your line. And the only way to determine if it's true or false is to use a rest point, a test point, right? Well, you can also test your boundary lines to see if it's going to be true or false. And if it's true, it's solid. And if it's false, it's dashed. dashed, right? Good, very good. However, we can actually get by with that, right? Rather than testing each line, what's the easy way to determine if it's solid or dashed? The right, the signs. If it's greater than or less than or equal to, whenever you have the equal, you know it's always going to be true or a part of your solution. And when it's less than, less than or greater than, then it's always going to be a dash. So my two lines are going to be solid. So I have y is greater than negative 3, which is down here, and y is greater than or equal to negative 3. Now, ladies and gentlemen, when I'm doing inequalities, whenever you're doing a system and you're graphing them, it's always very helpful to kind of label the intercepts and the equation. So I'm going to write y is greater than or equal to negative 3. And this one is x is greater than negative 3, greater than or equal to. And you might say, well, Mr. McLuhan, why are you writing down the equations? Well, ladies and gentlemen, one thing, it's e it helps me to prevent um, mixing up the equations. Because remember, you're going to use a test point for both of these. And you might forget which equation is which. And so if you put the wrong test point to the wrong equation, you can get the whole problem wrong. The other way is, remember, you want to communicate to me what is where you know what they are. So if you have these graphed, it's important to know, oh, OK, you want to make sure you communicate to me that you graphed which line. So does, is everybody OK with how to graph your vertical and horizontal lines? Kind of? OK. So the next point is now we have inequalities, meaning we need to use test points. <coughs> so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to test. So the best test point ever created is 
unless our test point goes through 0, 0. So I have x is greater than negative 3. Well, I can't test a y coordinate in for there, so I can only test the x coordinate. So is 0 greater than or equal to? Sorry. Is So is 0 greater than or equal to negative 3? Yeah. Yes. So for this point, it's true. So what I'm going to do is, since it's true and it's to the right of my vertical line, I'm just going to kind of draw some little shade marks. And what that tells me is all points to the right of this line are going to be true. Now let's test this one. y is greater than or equal to negative 3. So I say 0 is greater than or equal to negative 3. Is that true or false? True, right? So what that means now, did I read my red? Here's my red. That means all points, since this point is true for this line, that means all points above the line of this line are true. However, ladies and gentlemen, we're not, we're not concerned about where it's shaded. We're only concerned about where the shading intersects. Where is it true for both inequalities? And what we call that region is the feasible region. And the only region where it's true for both of them is right in this region. Everybody see that? So that's going to be your solution or your answer. So you can kind of like reshade it in. And a lot of times we like to kind of eliminate the rest of these lines. Because even though they're true for one, one equality, they're not true for both of them. OK? And there you go. There's your solution. Any questions, comments, points, benefits? OK. Cool? Good? Makes sense? Awesome?